What's up, you two people? It is I, the Grateful Recovering Addict, bring another segment to you guys of our hypothermically speaking confessions of a spoon cooker. It's uh, it's uh, 4 a.m. in Asbury Park. I'm just coming back from the uh, 7-Eleven. Went to get some uh, Red Bull energy drinks, the watermelon flavored kind. Those are those are the, my favorite ones at the time right now. And uh, I worked all day today, so I'm shot. You know what I mean? Been up since uh, Friday morning around like four o'clock. And it's Saturday, four in the morning, 4.30 right now, actually. I've been up for like 24 hours. Just, uh, we were supposed to have uh, off from work today. We had the boss call us in. We had to, a couple of trains came in. We had to take care of that, you know? So uh, I kind of threw off my whole uh, schedule. So I had the other two days off before. So I was doing other things around the house. I was planning on going to the city. So last couple of days I've been up. So in order for me to go to work Friday morning, I had to go to sleep early Thursday. And even though I was up the other two nights before, so my whole sleep schedule is a little messed up. So I'm pulling it up all night right now. So I'm gonna be in the house and I'm gonna, so I bought these energy drinks to keep me up, hopefully help me crash a little later. I'm planning on adding more to the book I'm writing. Oh yeah, I'm writing a book in case you guys ain't know. Basically, it's gonna be like a, a red copy of uh, what I've been doing so far on this channel, but uh, it's gonna be more to it. So be on the lookout for that, the book. The book, you know, uh, it's gonna be titled Hypodermically Speaking, and I'm probably gonna add a couple words after that, make it look more catchy. I'm gonna finish typing it up, getting it proofread, editing, and then go look for uh, a publishing company. I'm not sure if I do it myself or uh, have someone do it for me, or you know, do all the work for me and just get royalties. I'm not expecting this thing to get really major, popularly, you know, get popular until after I'm gone. You know, then they don't go up in value. But I'm not doing it really for the money. Money would be nice because it would definitely help out the situation. But I'm doing it for. Uh, I gotta see where I'm at right now. I gotta go this way. The whole neighborhood is different at night, yo. I don't get to go. I don't go out at night really that often. Look at this. A payphone. You ain't really see them nowadays. I'm, who remembers the payphone days? But yeah, so working on the book. Got these energy drinks. Work today. They want us to come in on Sunday, so I have off Saturday. So I'm gonna do my thing. And then uh, go into work Sunday and then see how many more days next week they want us to work. And then um, that's what I'll be doing. That's what, I, that's what I do. I go to work when I'm not working. When I'm at work, I'm doing work things. And when I'm uh, not working, I do rough things, you know, recovery things. I do what works for me. As long as it's good for me, like some of that goodness can rub off the rest of y'all, you know? This is the uh, infamous uh, seawall block. We had a guy get shot here over the summer, like right behind my house, you know? Things be going down in the neighborhood. We had uh, like cops do uh a raid down the street over here somewhere by like Bangs Avenue during the day I was told I was at work but the guys in the house told me 606 it's nice numbers so it's not a bad neighborhood you know like you got his bad things but a lot of, for the most part I got a lot of good people that live here just uh you know doing their thing just good honest people you know and they have a front door wide open over there. I wonder why. That's really weird, but whatever. I'm not gonna 
go inquire about that. I'm like literally on my block right now. So I'm just gonna go take this down, you know, go back to the crib. I got my little energy drinks. Took out some cash back at the subs. Maybe get myself a haircut tomorrow. I don't see the point because I'm working with trains. There ain't no women around. So who am, I, who am I gonna be getting a haircut for? Maybe for the Christmas time so I could go see my family. Look somewhat uh, put together, you know. Instead of this, uh, you know, going for the caveman look with the beard and shit. Cro-Magnum shit. So, but yeah, uh, just wanted to do this little video while I'm out and about, you know. So, continue to stay tuned, continue to stay positive, as I will do the same. See you guys in the next one.